Hi. So we are back with poetry, and now we're looking at some more William Blake. We covered the lamb and the tiger, and now we're starting with the chimney sweepers. Now I need to tell you a little backstory on the chimney sweeper. The the book that William Blake put out first had two parts to it. Part one was the song of experience, excuse me, innocence, and part two was the song of experience. Now the difference is if you're looking at the songs of innocence poems, those are more fluffy, cute. Um, the world is still a fair and happy place. And uh, it's just a, a much more positive place to be. Now the songs of experience are not necessarily bad, but they do uh, show a, a, a person who has seen the world. They've been around a few times. They know it's not a fair place. They know that things don't always go the way you hope they would. I mean, it's it's a darker place. So we're, what we're gonna do today is look at two poems, both with the same title called The Chimney Sweeper. And one is an outlook from the innocent side where he's still kind of new in it and he still has this positive outlook. And then the other is the experienced side where he's done. He has been, uh, he's seen that this is not fair and it's not good and he's very unhappy. So the backstory is um, during this time in the 1800s, it was, or late 1700s, excuse me, and into the early 1800s, it was not uncommon for parents to sell their children. Uh, you could use a uh, anything, any kind of job where they needed little hands and little feet and to fit in places. They put them in coal mines. They had them in um, industrial uh, weaving, what are they called? Looms and stuff, making fabric. They had them in this case, actually in chimneys. You would um, say you had four, five, six kids. You got to where you couldn't afford to feed them all. So you would rent out your child, um, say for a year or two to this company. And the company now has control of the child. They would have a bunch of little kids all sleeping in the same place and they're feeding them, they're clothing them, they're taking care of them, supposedly. And in exchange, the mom and the dad have one fewer child to clothe, to feed, and they get a little money extra too for the work that child do, does. Now, in the case of the chimney sweeper, that was one of the worst jobs they could do. The uh, company would wrap a little uh, rope around their little waist, hand them a brush and go, okay, go sweep. Um, and they literally would drop them down into chimneys. Now, these kids got emphysema, they got black lung, they got lung cancer, they broke arms and legs. I mean, it was bad. Um, the worst of all were probably the orphans because nobody cared if they got burned or broken or hurt because they had no parents. So it was, a, it was a very ugly scenario. Okay, so keeping all that in mind, let's look now at this poem. So we're gonna start noticing that the swe chimney sweeper has four lines here, four lines here, four lines all the way through. These are called quatrains. Now, while William Blake did follow the, the mindset of romanticism, which is um, the cities are grimy and dirty and ugly, the factories are causing all this uh, pain and suffering and more dirt and grime, don't pay attention to them. He, his, the mindset was go outside and pay attention to the nature, the trees, um, go outside and just enjoy the sunlight and the green. But now, that freedom of thought, freedom of expression is one thing, but he did stick to a very set style here. He has quatrains. He has a very set rhyme scheme. Notice as we're reading this, these are uh, rhyming couplets. Excuse me, I'm gonna boo-boo there. Rhyming couplets. They rhyme, they rhyme, okay. So you two rhyming couplets Put together and make up a quatrain. Okay. When my mother died, I was very young, and my mother sold me while yet my tongue could scarcely cry, weep, 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 weep. And so your chimneys I sweep, and in soot I sleep. Now he does this little weep, 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 weep thing. You're going to see it again in the other chimney sweeper as well. And it's a little song they used to sing, sweep, 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 sweep. But they're, you know, he's just a little booger, so he's dropping his S's. 
There's little Tom Dacker who cried when his head that curled like a lamb's back was shaved. And so I said, hush, Tom, never mind it. For when your head's bare, you know that soot can't spoil your white hair. Okay, so they really did shave their little heads because it was easier to keep them clean without all that hair. So they give them little buzz cuts. And so he was quiet. And that very night, as Tom was asleeping, he had such a sight that thousands of sweepers, Dick, Joe, Ned, and Jack, were all of them locked up in coffins of black. So this little guy's having a bad nightmare. And his other little sweeper friend is going to have a, a way to look around that and to be more of a cheerleader and a much happier outlook. And by came an angel who had a bright key, and he opened the coffins and set them all free. And then down the green plain, leaping and laughing they run, and wash in the river and shine in the sun. Okay, so these things, down the green plain, wash in the river and shine in the sun. During this kid's dream, the angel comes and set them all free. Now, the, these are things that these little kids are never going to get to do or see. They don't get to play in big green plains. They don't get to wash in rivers and shine in the sun and, and be happy kids. No, these are soot-covered little worker bees. It's not going well for them. Then, naked and white, all their bags left behind, they rise upon clouds and sport in the wind. And the angel told Tom if he'd be a good boy, he'd have God as his father and he'd never want joy. Okay, so this word want means lack. So, he says he'll have God as his father, and he'll never lack joy. So, he's seeing a very positive outlook as far as religion goes, because this little kid needs a dad. He needs a dad figure, and so he has God for that, because that's as close as he's ever going to get. He's not going to have a father, or his father has rented him out as a worker. And so Tom awoke, and we rose in the dark and got with our bags and our brushes to work. And though the morning was cold, Tom was happy and warm. So if all do their duty, they need not fear harm. Again, very positive outlook on a very bad job. You're going to see the opposite of that in just a moment when we look at the chimney sweeper from the experience point of view. This uh, first point of view is very happy, very positive still very innocent, still, um, I think it's going to be okay. I'm a cheerleader and it's not going to be okay. Um, he's just trying his best, uh, but you'll see it pretty soon. The other one is a very, very different situation. And I will see you on the other side when we look at an experience.